Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you about something that nobody seems to be talking about, and that is your IECs. Now this is a power brick for my laptop, but it still contains an IEC. Now you know what I'm talking about. So this right here is an IEC power input module, and this one's in beautiful condition. However, I want you to take notice of how easy that cord pulls out. Now, this happens all the time on medical equipment where the cord is falling out or it rocks really heavily in the IEC port. And I want to do a public service announcement about something called IEC pitting. I'll throw up an image of it in just a moment, but IEC pitting is something that happens on many, many devices and it just gets exponentially worse. You see the IEC pins are supposed to be nice and clean and shiny. And as soon as they start getting little gouges in them, those create hot spots. And when you have a high current item like, I don't know, Steris 3085 surgical tables, you know, it charges those large lead acid batteries that are in the base. And when it does it, it pulls a lot of current from that port. And that port, if it's not in pristine condition, it needs to be changed out. Now there's many heaters, there's circulating pumps and stuff like that where they pull quite a bit of current. If you have an IEC on your medical device, you need to get down there and inspect it, especially if the cord just kind of falls right out. Because if the cord's falling out, I guarantee if you look at that IEC on the pins, you're gonna see a lot of pitting on there. And if, if that's the case, it's only a matter of time before you melt the power cord itself or the IEC itself, and it creates a, a small electrical fire. So there you have it, people. Inspect your IEC ports, especially if the device has a cord that's fallen out. Don't just shove the cord on there a little bit further. Check it out, and if you have a loose-fitting cord on an IEC, check that IEC, replace the cord, okay? Thanks for watching, guys.